Next story may make you think twice about giving up your landline and going with just a cell phone. Jordan Burgess tells us how one woman says it nearly cost her son his life. We're told about 70% of 911 calls are placed with cell phones. Now, most of the time, everything works fine. But one Germantown woman says her story shows that calling 911 from a cell phone may not be as reliable as you'd think. Heather Mitchell woke up in the middle of the night to every mother's worst nightmare. He's completely gray, wasn't breathing anymore, and my husband had to start doing CPR on him. So she did what any mother would do. She called 911 and waited. And waited. Heather says she was on the line for what seemed like minutes, but nobody picked up. So with no other options, she rushed Liam to the car and drove him to the hospital. My son could have died because it didn't work. We asked officials with regional dispatch about what happened. They tell us nothing went unanswered on their end, so they're looking into what the issue could have been. We're told sometimes calls can bounce between cell towers, causing a slight delay. Officials aren't sure if that's the reason behind the unanswered call, but Heather has heard it might be. If the tower can't do it, it'll just ring and ring and ring until someone can reroute it to dispatch. Less than a day later, Liam is returning to his normally happy cell. He's breathing and everything's well. It's just we have to let him sleep with us for a while. Heather is just thankful her husband, who's a paramedic, had been sent home from work earlier that night. We were lucky that he was there. Heather says in the future, she's not taking any chances. She's going back to a landline. Yeah, immediately, and I'll be lowering or getting rid of my cell phone plan entirely. Now, officials stress cell phones are a reliable way to call 911, but if you do use one to call for help, make sure you give your location because unlike a landline, it's harder to pinpoint that with a cell phone. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.